Hello. I'm uh, currently at this temple called Wat Nong Pa Pong. So it's actually a Theravada Buddhist monastery in uh, Ubon Raksha Thani. Actually, this uh, place is started by Ajahn Cha, okay, uh, practicing the traditional forest uh, tradition. Let's have a look uh, at this place. We are now in the inside of the temple compound. Uh. It's about 35 rai. Uh. 35 rai is very very big place. I think bigger than the uh, uh, Grand Palace in uh, Bangkok. It's a meditation school uh, actually. And uh, this car comes from Kanchanaburi. Further than us uh, from uh, Bangkok. A lot of uh, chicken here. And this whole area uh, is really uh, forested. I mean, we really understand now uh, what is called a uh, forest uh, temple, okay? So, what Nong Pa Pong uh, actually, uh, Achan Cha has many, many disciples last time before he passed on. So, one of the first uh, disciples he has uh, is a Westerner in uh, 1975. His uh, name is called uh, Achan Sumet Ho. Uh. So in 1975, Achan Cha has this uh, Western uh, Western uh, disciple already, you know, Lucid, which I think is uh, not so common. And then uh, now, uh, under this uh, meditation school, right, uh, this is one of the Chedi, uh, this is a Chedi in uh, this temple. So under this meditation school, uh, they have uh, up to 200, more than 240 branches in the whole world. Uh, from Australia, Brazil, Canada, Germany, Italy, New Zealand, Norway, Portugal, Switzerland, Thailand, UK and the USA. Imagine the school started by Ajahn Cha. Then after that, spread to a whole world, 240, more than 240 branches. Just imagine this. Now we want to have a look at this uh, pagoda. So now we are going in, into the pagoda. Although the sun is very bright, uh, but uh, this place is still very cooling. Many people are inside doing meditation. I think they can be uh, a loose. I just came out from the inside of the cherry. Uh. At least easily it was about 20 people practicing and then doing meditation uh, now. I believe that uh, they may come from all over the world, uh, of course in Thailand as well, to uh, do med practice meditation. And then there's a stretch of uh, uh, forest uh, that that's how we saw. Very, very, very beautiful. Very... Uh, Rustic, like like something you can see in a movie. It is very beautiful place. Feel the wind, listen to the breeze. Forest temple, forest monk. Imagine this is in a uh, current two zero two three. Imagine one thousand years ago. The creature, the tiger, the animal around this uh, whole place. And then the kind of uh, environment that the monk has to go through last time. Amazing. So the five rye are a very big area, a very, very big area. Very, very big. So the, I'm just walking around one round, uh, so 
It's very big, uh, very huge, uh, this place. And this is just like a segment of the whole temple. No? It's just like a fraction. Amazing. Huge. Very, very big place. I think there's uh, some uh, mistake information I given just now. This place is not 35 rai. It's 355 rai. So it's about 10 times or 15 times more than the Grand Palace. Amazing, really big. This building uh, is a meditation center and also the museum uh, for uh, Achan Cha. So just now we saw one uh, monk from the uh, UK. He has been monk for uh, seven years. Then uh, I was just checking with him why he decided to go into monkhood. And then he just uh, simply said that it is an easier way of living. Just like that. <laughs> so, really, uh, this place is for the welcome uh, international monk and also these uh, uh, local monks. If you have a time in Ubon, Rachatani, uh, uh, you can come. Very nice place, very uh, good feeling. <laughs>